but yeah, he can collect uh, a lot of rain in the uh, the wingspan of his nutsack, I guess you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's ever a drought, you know, we're actually thinking about sending him to uh, some foreign countries that, that have some droughts. <laughs> He can help uh, help supply them with nut rainwater. <laughs> he rattles his scrotum, jumps out the window, and flies away like a big pink bat. <laughs> like a big, yeah, a big squirrel, <laughs> flying squirrel. I had a two-year span of like every time somebody did anything that was remarkable in powerlifting, I'd say, "You're not Ed Cone. You're not Ed, Ed Cone. Would have done this. Ed Cone would have done that. Just just to just to troll and just to keep his name going." And let's uh, let's talk about the most important thing here. Let's talk about the. Uh, the yellowish gold singlet that you used to mm-hmm. wear back in the day. How did that thing come about, and and where is that singlet? I right, someone stole it. Legit. Wow. <laughs> We're coming up to an absolute max a number of times before they before they get into a meet, and and that's not at all what you were doing. Yeah, and they're, then they're actually mentally burnt out too. You can only you can only stay at that hundred percent level for so long before it, it, it breaks yeah, you down. Should, it, it, it should make you feel. You should still be fairly comfortable in it, um, but it shouldn't give you everything, and you shouldn't have to change your... If you have to change your groove, then it's not going to help. So what if there, hypothetically, let's just say, there was a device that existed that you could put over one arm and then over the other arm, and it stretched across your chest, and it could give you about 10 to 15% more on a bench press, but you're still able to keep your raw groove. Would something like that be beneficial? It would be very beneficial. Ah, there we it, go, it, it, Edward. It, you got to try to learn on your own sometimes. I mean, we all have guys that we've listened to on the way up, but it's it's all. I mean, like you know, what's the line? The week or two before I did uh, nine hundred for five, I did eight seventy for five with this, you know, those old suits with the straps down. And on the first rep, it came out. It was like a Play-Doh machine, like one of those old ones you put it in and squeeze it out. And every rep, it proceeded to come out more and more and more. But there was no way I was going to rack it and then have to do that set over with, so I just went with it. Wow. That and must have been By the time I was done, you know when you're, you know, you got kids, so when your kid's little and they wear like a onesie and if they have an accident, how it goes like all the way up the crack of their back and oh. to their lower back. Yeah, there, so there was like a 15-minute cleanup job. <laughs> Everything was thrown out. I didn't save anything. It was peanut butter. I, I, I don't and, know how uh, you just shared that with people. That's, and I came I'm upstairs and finished the workout, and that was it. Our ratings are going through the roof right now, I think. <laughs> Mark Bell's PowerCast is a production of supertraining.tv.